The D8 Organization for Economic Cooperation has reaffirmed its commitment to prioritize trade among member countries to achieve said targets. Dr. Ado Mohamed, Global Program Director of D8, Health and Social Protection disclosed this while briefing journalists at the official inauguration ceremony of the D8 office in Abuja. We will be supporting member countries through innovative sustainable financing through resource mobilization. We know that the funding from government will not be enough to address health system needs. So as an organization, we intend to support all our member states in terms of resource mobilization to bridge the gap that... Uh, uh, will take member countries on the journey towards universal health coverage. That is one. Secondly, we also want to uh, support our member countries in terms of health trades. We want to encourage and boost health trade within the member states. Uh, the eight countries has a combined economy of 4.5 trillion dollars, 1.1 billion people, but the trade between the member countries just translates to about 100 billion dollar, which is grossly inadequate. So we want. Uh, to ensure that we boost that trade within member countries to a tune of about 10% annually for the next five years so that uh, we can be able to get a huge chunk from the $4.5 trillion economy uh, to boost the economy and then create jobs and then create employment within member states. Nigeria is the host country for the Secretariat, but this is not a Nigerian program. It's a D8 program owned by all the member states. But we are happy and pleased that the federal government of Nigeria, under the able leadership of President Mohamed Buhari, has given me fit and necessary to provide us with an edifice. And I also discharge their own obligation in terms of uh, their counterpart contribution to the program. Uh, so we see this as a key um, step towards kick-starting the program. And uh, we believe that uh, uh, as we commence operation, we'll be supporting member states uh, through resource mobilization. We'll be supporting member states uh, through use of evidence of data uh, for performance and impact and then results. With COVID-19 pandemic, uh, what we've done is that uh, we've organized virtual meetings with member states and then we've been able to mobilize resources in terms of supporting member states uh, through um, either equipment, uh, drugs, pharmaceutical, you know, so that is what uh, we've been doing so far, you know, uh, in terms of supporting states and the member states uh, towards uh, actualization of our mandate.